Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming out, and thank you, more importantly, for all the support that you've given us over the three and a half years that we've been building this co-op. Um, you know, we would not he be here today if it weren't for the hard work and sacrifice of many, many people, uh, some of whom are up here today. We have our current board of directors on this side. And we have uh, members of the workers' assembly, which will be our uh, management team over on the other side. Yeah, this is a really, uh, this is a big day for us. It's been a long time coming. And it started in a backyard not too far from here, just south uh, in the North Loop area. We had a meeting, very first meeting in January of 2006. And the vision that I had at that time was to have a beer bar that was owned by the customers, owned by the people who drank there. Uh, it was really just serendipity that at that meeting, only 17 people showed up, and uh, two of them were, well, they, they brought new experiences to the table, new vision, and Jeff Young, our future brewer, uh, came in and said that we should, uh, we should really be a brew pub and not just a bar, and that that would uh, even enhance our community connection by having our own house beers. Uh, over the... Uh, over the ensuing time, he's uh, worked with our community to develop a really incredible lineup that we will have um, in this space. Uh, the other uh, other key person who was at that meeting was uh, Johnny Livesey. Johnny's going to be uh, one of our chefs in the uh, in the kitchen. But uh, at the time that he came to the meeting, he was one of the staff board members of the Wheatsville Food Co-op, and basically handed us the legal structure and said, this vision that you have, here's how you make it a reality. Here's how the co-op works. And the combination of you know, my initial idea of the beer bar, Jeff's brew pub, and Johnny bringing in the legal structure uh, gave us the foundation that has let us grow to where we are today and continue growing into the future. Um, the membership, from its humble beginnings, that 17 members uh, meeting in the in the backyard of a friend of mine, has grown to over 1,200 individuals. We also have organizations that are members of the co-op, and while many of them, uh, both the organizations and the individuals, are here in Austin, uh, we do count among our members uh, more than 20 states and three foreign countries. I don't think many of them are here today, but uh, perhaps they'll make it out for the grand opening. Uh, this location has been, um, finding, the, finding the location in general has been the primary work that we've been undertaking for um, over three years now. You know, we've been growing the membership, but always keeping our eyes on the eventual goal of having the brick and mortar brew pub where everyone can come and walk into the place like you own it, because you do. Uh, we, uh, we unfortunately had to be rather quiet about the location status for quite a long time, uh, just because real estate matters are sensitive. And that uh, I know that that pained a lot of members, not knowing what was going on. Uh, let me tell you that it, it really did pain us even more not to be able to tell anyone. But I'm absolutely thrilled to say that that quiet period has come to an end today. And I'd like to formally welcome you to the site of the world's first cooperatively owned brew pub. Yeah. Now, uh, for those of you who wandered in earlier, I'm sure you saw that it's just an empty shell right now. So this is uh, this is not by any means the end of the work. It's uh, it's really the beginning of the hard stuff. And over the coming months, we're going to be uh, launching a new membership campaign. From our current 1,200 members, we want to uh, to grow to at least 2,000 by the end of next spring. And we're also going to open up a new round of our offering of member investor shares. These are uh, like a preferred stock that any member who's fully acquired their membership capital can acquire as well, make an investment in a, uh, an instrument that pays a dividend 
and uh, is really how we plan to raise the bulk of the capital to, to get us the rest of the way over. And uh, so over the next uh, five months, we're going to be raising $375,000 through that offering. And that combined with the, uh, the membership growth is where we'll get the capital that will turn this space, this empty shell, into our brew pub. Uh, for the past several weeks, we've had a team of member owners with experience in architecture, uh, design, construction. You know, I really can't say enough how the membership is the strongest asset of this organization. We can uh, draw on talents wider than, than I could have ever possibly imagined uh, sitting back in that, that backyard at the very first meeting. Uh, among the things we hope to serve you are, of course, beer. Who likes beer? Yeah. <laughs> As I mentioned, Jeff has, uh, has worked very closely with home brewers and other members of our community to develop a lineup. We have a fantastic uh, menu of unique, interesting beers that are uh, really rooted here in Austin, uh, very drinkable for our hot summers, um, using local tastes, those kinds of things. We plan to have six taps of draft beer uh, uh, for house beers. And then we're going to have an additional 20 taps of guest beers of various kinds. We want to support local Austin breweries, um, other craft brewers in the country, and of course a small selection of interesting imports from around the world. In addition to the draft, we're going to have a library of bottled beers. Uh, we don't really see the point in, um, in having just as many as we can for that sake, for the sake of that. We're going to have stuff that is, um, that is remarkable in some way, something that you would want to come here. This is a destination that you can come to any time that you want to, uh, to have a great beer experience. But of course, we are, uh, we're not just about the beer. We've got to have excellent food, bring you to the restaurant as well. And our, uh, our plan is to have a menu of English pub fare that's uh, brought into relevance of Central Texas with uh, locally sourced, sustainable ingredients, um, taking the old standards, putting a twist on them. And uh, as I mentioned, I mentioned uh, Johnny and then Michael Holland are heading up our kitchen team, and they're going to be talking to you about the uh, about the actual menu plans on the uh, the tours of the space. Uh, finally, they're going to be really different in the service aspect because our um, our workers are going to be paid a living wage with benefits, and there won't be any tipping at the brew pub. So no double taxes need to be paid. Price you see is the price you get. Uh, and then I want to talk for briefly about member benefits. You know, I see almost everyone here is already a member, but there are of course lots of people who are not yet part of the co-op. And uh, for those of you who are, I'm sure you have friends who are on the fence. Maybe you haven't told them about it. Yeah, the uh, the membership, as we always talk about, equals ownership, uh, and that means that. You have a voice in this organization. The membership elects the board of directors, and Mark, our board president, is going to talk a bit more about the uh, the governance structure later. But in addition to, you know, the kind of voting rights, run for the board, vote for the board, come to the meetings, let us know what's going on. We have a number of little perks for our members who who have made this a reality. Uh, we have our annual membership appreciation party, our birthday party will be in April. Uh, celebrating the incorporation of the co-op uh, in April of 2006. And then we're going to have uh, free beer for you on your birthday, which is not your birthday, because we think you probably have better things to do on the day you, you, the anniversary of your birth. We consider your birthday to be the anniversary of the date you joined the co-op. <laughs> so you can come in and enjoy a pint on us on that day. Uh, we're also going to have a number of special events, tastings, paired dinners, uh, classes, those sorts of things. And those will be uh, exclusive for our members. You're going to get the invitation and know about those. Uh, and no one else is, uh, is going to be able to, to access those services. And then finally, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the few year time frame, when the co-op is, uh, is profitable and stable, and we've started to pay our dividends on our investor shares. The, uh, the profits of the co-op 
are going to be refunded to the membership on the basis of patronage. And that's a complicated way of saying that you'll get an annual refund on your bar tab. <laughs> so I think that will be the first time in history that that has ever happened to anyone. <laughs> and we can all look forward to uh, a few years down the line when, when we get to issue our first patronage refund.